No, your eyes do not deceive you. This is Baker City, Oregon. These are African animals that migrated from Africa to, to Baker, Baker City? City. Come on. Yeah, you'll catch them in the summertime, milling around town. And then about this time of year, they tend to congregate right here in the court plaza. Okay, none of that is true. Well, sort of. Jeff Gench owns and operates Art Roamers, a store and art importing business. He brings pieces from artists in East Africa to Baker City. And his showroom for these animal structures is, well, downtown Baker City. Jeff originally got a 30-day permit from the city to display some of the animals on the sidewalks of Baker City. The feedback was so positive, the city begged Jeff to keep them up. People yeah. love them, especially the children. Yeah. The children just will, sometimes when we pull in with a, a load of animals coming in, and they'll be on the back of a flatbed trailer, and we'll see kids squill with delight. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like going to the zoo. It is. It's like going to the zoo. Elephant, rhinos, giraffes. Uh, we just got a kudu. Um, don't even know what that is. Yeah, most people don't. <laughs> it's uh, one of the largest antelopes in the world. Oh, okay. Uh, with spiral horns. Okay. And crocodiles, ostrich, hippo, monkeys. Baker City locals are used to seeing African animal structures on their hometown sidewalks. We were not so casual about it. It really is an incredible sight. The animal structures are not permanent displays. They are for sale and for rent. So inventory changes throughout the year. Not only are they decorative and great conversation starters, they also help teach local folks about African art and culture. The people the, here in town and in those visiting town, just, they're always curious to know what it is and why they're here. Gench also runs a store that is full of colorful African artwork, toys, books, baskets, you name it. And just a few blocks off Main Street at a children's art school is a majestic and life-size silverback gorilla sculpture. And lest you think these animals could disappear in the middle of the night, rest assured they are securely anchored to their location. And we get people come by the store all the time and say thank you so much. It means so much to us. It's kind of slim pickings in the winter time, but come warmer weather, Baker City sidewalks will be invaded once again by visitors from East Africa. In Baker City, surrounded by animal sculptures, this is Dave Jones for Destination Oregon.